To help them determine this, scientists treat particles as if they are waves. Because a particle can be in so many various places, they seem to be a continuous succession of oscillating waves. Imagine a string that is pulsating. The string will arc and dip through peaks and troughs as it vibrates. A particle also behaves like this, although its possible path is a series of such overlapping waves all happening at once. By examining particles in this way, researchers can determine the particle's most likely location. The arcs and dips on the various waves must coincide for the particle to be in one of its most likely places, and they must not coincide for it to be in one of its least likely positions. This is called interference, and it shows which positions and speeds are most probable for the particle wave's path.